What's going on guys? Dirty 30 here with my first ever review. I'm going to be reviewing this, the Steel Series Arc Test 7P. Uh, this is supposedly good for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, so if you guys want this, uh, I won't recommend it yet. I haven't opened it, haven't even tried it out. Just watch other reviews on here and I want to get straight to the point. This video is about the 7P. Yeah, so if you guys want to know what I'm using right now, and if I sound good or whatever I sound like, this is the Razer Kraken. Got it from Target, $80. Has no side tone. Really don't like that it has no side tone. This is one of the reasons why I wanted this. And uh, this has no side tone, and I didn't know that you needed to download the software for the 7.1 surround sound for the Kraken. So this past two months, I've been looking into another headset, and I found this. found a lot of reviews. So let's get into this. Uh, the other reviews I uh, seen people people liked it. They talk about it. It's 150 bucks. They have it on Amazon. They have it on Best Buy. They have it at Target. They have them on there, but they're all sold out. GameStop all sold out. But Monday of this week, I actually found this on t uh, Best Buy for 150 bucks. Got it in a week's time. So it, I seen yesterday. I looked on there yesterday, uh, the fifth or the sixth of February, and they actually had it on Best Buy again for 150 bucks but you get it in 10 days so your best chance is going on Best Buy if you guys want one of these I will never pay over $200 for a $150 product uh, the reason why I wanted to get these ones I think they look cool honestly they look cool I watched the reviews people said they were good some people said they didn't like them the reviews on Amazon are up and down some people love them IGN you watch their channel all those guys are promoting them obviously if you look right here best high-end gaming headset IGN so all their guys on their videos are all using these headsets. Maybe not this one. Maybe they're using the Arctis 9. Arctis, there's like four or five different versions. Pro, wireless, whatever. But the 7Ps, I wanted to get because I've always had the PlayStation model that comes with the uh, Sony. And Sony makes their pulses and whatever. I had the PS3 version that actually had the retractable mic come out. And that was the best one they ever made. It was for the PS3. It had the side wheel and everything on there. It was great. And then I got the... The foldable ones for the PS4 had them the whole life cycle worked phenomenal. Only thing I didn't like when I made these videos on the PlayStation with the Share Factory sound like crap. Uh, it sounded muffled, sounded far away because the mic was put back. Like the mic was built into the headset, so there's probably a difference right now. I can't tell because I'm making the video, so you'll probably hear it in the video. But this Kraken, you can bring it out. Same thing with this one. It's retractable, as you can see on the box right here. You can retract it, put it in there. And yeah, I have uh, taken it out of the box, haven't ever used it, haven't never charged it. I wanted to make this video, this is going to be the first look on the unboxing of it. So uh, let's get into it. Let's, the design looks cool. It says PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 on there, and they're going to be promoting the PlayStation 5. And there was an Arctis 7 I was looking at before this came out, but I guess they're making the Arctis 7 limited quantity now because they want to... Uh, promote this one and have the 7p and it's really hard to get right now people are selling these for 250 the most 300 i saw a month ago now it's back down to 200 so this on the box it says wireless 7p uh wireless included cables you get the usb c wireless dongle usb c usb a adapter cable micro usb charging cable four pole 3.5 audio cable you get all this stuff this is what it says in the box that's what i'm reading you can't see with the package so let's take the package off and I'll show you guys uh, that even now. My handy dandy knife. If you like my shirt. Got this a long time ago. As it doesn't fit. But I'm a big boy. So let's open this son of a gun up. Let's get this going boys. So like I'm back to showing you guys. This is what it says on the box. And I'm using the PlayStation camera right here. So hopefully it looks pretty good. I can kind of read it from here. So I'll put pictures and stuff on the video hopefully. So... A Steel Series 7P, 24-hour battery life, lossless 2.4 gigahertz. This is what it says in the front. Retractable mic, steel frame. So what I heard on this was, I'm gonna open the box, but this right here should be steel. <laughs> this is plastic and steel. Why they did that? I don't know. Steel Series, you think the whole thing would be steel? And it has the what do you call it? The um, what the hell is this headband called? This headband is the when you're snowboarding and stuff and they said the microphones like rated for like people that drive the airplanes the jets and stuff the fighter jets so the mic should sound like that which is uh, okay because they sound like crap and you hear them talking so gaming graded wireless it says two 24 hours discord certified so it's discord certified it's on the back of the box if you can see right there 
and then signature Arctis Sound. Don't know what that is, never had it. So let's open up the box, let's get into this. I don't want to ruin the box. Never want to ruin these boxes. You never know when you have to return them. So let's see, a lot of people have issues with their sound. I've seen people where this cracked, if you go on Amazon. I don't know what version they had. I was just looking at all the reviews. Is there tape around this? Nope. Open this delicately. And a box inside a box. A lot of companies like to do that now. So, for the glory. Done with the box. Promoting more. On the top. Hopefully I sound good with this cracking headset. Main reason why I wanted to get this. This has no 7.1 surround, surround sound unless you have a PC. My girl has a Mac. You can see it over there. Well, over there on the thing. It's a Mac. Krakens don't have Mac OS. I don't know why. That's just dumbest stuff ever. So, let's pull this out. Looks good. Coming out the box. Phenomenal. Ooh. They don't show you this, but hey. What's inside here? Probably the manual. And uh, don't eat this. Keeps the product dry. So that's cool. That's nice. So it looks good. This is what comes in the box. So you have a USB adapter that goes into the PlayStation. It also blocks the USB in the front. So I'm going to have to change my... Where I have a controller stand. I have to move that to the back. But the problem is that controller stand says it doesn't... It doesn't uh, charge in the back. I tried it. It actually doesn't work. So you have to use my stand that I got on Amazon. It's not the PlayStation one. I have to put, put it in the front. So this dongle, I would need to use the adapter that it comes with. And there's an adapter... Where is it at? It's in one of these. So the adapter's in here. It's a cord. USB to USB-C, which would... That's in there tight. Which would have this little dongle going to the front with the adapter. So I can actually put it in the back. I don't like the cords, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not no multi-billion dollar gamer. So you got the dongle and then the headset right here. So I'll get the pamphlet out next. So this is the headset. It swivels. It's actually a lot, a lot smaller. It's actually a lot smaller than these. And this actually has vents on the side so it doesn't get hot. But this has a, this isn't like this padding. This is the cooling padding. I want to see if these will actually fit. Actually, they might not because they're actually bigger. But that would be pretty cool if they could fit on there. But this is the cloth, which I'm actually going to like because the pleather that comes with this and then the Kraken and it comes with the PlayStation ones. After like four years of having it, the pleather breaks off. You have to get new um, ear cups. And it's stupid because that pleather should not happen like that. Four years, I get it. But you're going to make me... I had to buy them for my PlayStation 1's. The only reason why I'm not using the PlayStation 1's anymore, the hinge broke. You know how everyone has those issues with the hinges. So, sorry for that. So the hinges broke, and I wanted to get a new headset. I got these. I thought they would be cool. They were 80 bucks, But, they're no side tone. So on this, you actually have the side tone built in right here. This is the side tone. And you can go up and down. And they also have the Engine 3, Steel Series Engine 3 that you can download on Mac OS or Windows. I don't have a PC. I don't use a PC. I have no reason to use a PC. Never will use a PC. Do not care for a PC. Then they have the mute button. Supposedly it can work on the PlayStation and like no matter what mute. Or you can use the controller and mute the whole thing. On a PS5 at least. The volume up and down. Then you have the port for your wired connection right here. And then people say this is the port for, I don't know, haven't tried it. This is the port for sharing. So say if someone next to me was using another headset and they wanted to hear the sound while we were playing split screen or something, you can use the share port right here. That's a share port. And that's the charging port. And then this is the mic. This is the mic that comes out and goes in just like this one. This is pretty good. This is, Hopefully it's a good headset, good mic, but making this video with it. And then this is the, the strap. As you can see, I'm going to have to take this one off. I don't know how that much is charged, but you might not hear me. So if you guys can't hear me, it's because of that headset. This one, I'd have to adjust it. Look how high it is on here. And it doesn't have no slide up and down. You have to use this strap. This strap right here is what adjusts it. So I have a hat on right now, so let's just adjust it randomly. Let's see. Just to get it comfortably on my head, goes up actually pretty good right there this is actually pretty good I'd probably use it like this 
actually wearing a hat. People say comfort. Who cares about the comfort, yo? Like, I use the PlayStation ones and they work phenomenal. If you're playing for more than five hours, you gotta get off your console. There's no reason to play in more than five hours. If you're a normal gamer streamer, go ahead. I think you're ridiculous. But if you're playing for more than five, six hours and not taking this off, this headset, or this headset, or any headset, it's gonna hurt your ears. Don't care who you say, what you do. Uh, it actually sounds like the tone voice I'm gonna need, the side tone because these block out all the sound and I can't hear crap when the volume's all the way up. And you actually have to turn the volume all the way up on your PlayStation 4 and 5, all the way up to get the max sound out of these. I'm so used to grabbing this cord. Have the max sound out of these. I would turn it all the way up. People say, oh, your preference is blah, 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 yeah, whatever. No, dude, turn the volume all the way up in here so you don't have to, you could turn this like medium, but yeah, you know you can turn it all the way up. And then some people are like, I like to push the sound to this and turn the volume to halfway. Nah, bruh. Turn that shit all the way up. Leave this medium. What the hell you need to do it for? I can hear footsteps with the PS3 version headset, the PS4 version headset, the Kraken I use. Only reason why I don't like these is because you have to download software that is not on the Mac OS that I can't put 7.1 surround sound on here. So I've had these for a month or two and never had surround sound. Very comfortable. Very awesome. Wish they had side tone. They could have put something on here. They have a little vent and stuff here. But these have this like mesh instead of pleather. They have mesh and the mesh should let it breathe, supposedly. So hopefully that works. Um, sorry if you guys can hear that. Hopefully that all works. Um, yeah, this is your average Joe. I don't know. I'm always going to record videos like this. I think it's cool. You use the PS5. This is what it's for. Let's use the PS5 like this. But this headset, comfortable. Let's take it off right now. I'm going to, I'm going to have to charge it so first look it has the little protectors on there has this don't really care this is metal people bend this shit I will never bend it like that there's no reason for it uh, yeah so I have to turn on on button power buttons right here let it beep supposedly yep right here if you look at this there's a little Ah, you can't see it see the little slit that turns colors blue when it's being used and red when it's muted and the playstation this is why i think this is cool and probably worth it because the playstation ones that i've had for the ps4 and ps3 did the same thing you muted it it was red you unmuted it it was blue and you're talking so this is the most compatible one that i've ever seen because you had the turtle beaches you had the steel uh, not the steel series you probably had the steel series but you had the turtle beaches you had the playstation wireless all those headsets and the only ones that were compatible were the PlayStation ones. There's never been since I've known. Maybe they made a Turtle Beach for PlayStation 4, but to be almost like the pulses and stuff is probably this one. This is probably the most similar. 150 bucks. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably going to recommend this. I'll make another video actually when I use it. I'll use it for a week's time, see if I like it more than these. Uh, I probably will because it has a side tone. That's the only thing I don't like about these, no side tones. And the 7.1 surround sound, but the PlayStation 3 or 5 actually has uh, the 3D audio crap in there built in. So as soon as you use a headset, it turns it on. I don't know the difference right now because my PlayStation 1s, I never used them on the PS5 because they were broke. So I was like, PS5, let's get these headsets. Let's try them out. So I think they look cool. There's a manual. Let's check the manual out. I don't know how much they're charged, so I'm not really going to try them right now. So the manual will stick to it. This is what the manual looks like. Let's open it up. I really don't want to... This is nice packaging, yo. Sticky. Just take the manual out. So this is the manual. There's actually two. This says, love it. We're thrilled that you are enjoying your SteelSeries product. Share your experience by writing an online review. We're here to help customer service. Supposedly, SteelSeries customer service sucks. That's one of the reviews I've seen. They want you to do reviews, but <laughs> all the reviews, they don't uh, don't go positive for these guys that much. SteelSeries engine it tells you about, tells you what it's uh, system requirements compatible, shows you all the stuff. So yeah, I recommend if you guys want to learn more about what it can actually do before you actually plug it in and play, read the manual. Always read the manuals, even though most of the time we don't, I'm not. I probably will because I want to know everything about this son bitch. But uh, yeah, so over this one more time, you have the volume, side tone on the sides, and I like how they're separated from each other. 
then you have the mute button on the left hand left hand side you have the mute button you have this port right here make sure if you want to do it wired to plug it into your controllers this port right here the one next to it right there that is a share one that's a share so if someone's next to you using another headset like you had this one I can plug this headset into this and you can share the sound so when you're doing split screen and you don't have someone wants to use a headset you should be able to share the sound and be able to hear the same shit hopefully then you have USB mini for charging kinda dumb because PlayStation 5 uses uh, this was made for the PlayStation 4 you could tell but this PlayStation 5 uses USB-C so that's my review steel series opening I'll try them out hopefully make another video sometime this week or in the next month and give you guys my honest opinion about them no matter what I feel like they're gonna be better than the Kraken and the PS3 versions that I had Kraken 80 bucks 150 bucks if you really don't care and you're just doing it to play the game for a couple hours an hour here and there get the Krakens if you're gonna play more five hours on the weekend here and there get these worth it especially if you're playing the FPS shooters like everybody's playing Call of Duty that's why everyone gets headsets not many people get headsets for story based games they're playing the Call of Duties they're playing the Halos they're playing Apex Legends they're playing Fortnite you want these so if you're playing more than a couple hours one or two hours Go for the $150 ones. Go for the Turtle Peaches $150 ones. Go for anything that's 100 bucks and over. Go for them. They're going to work wonders. The PlayStation ones, the PS5 version that they came out with, going to be phenomenal. I just don't like the mic. The mic on there, I like to do YouTube videos. The mic, I like to do all my YouTube videos since World War II Call of Duty on the PS4. Well, since the PlayStation 4 was launched, I've been using the Pulse headset and I've been using the PS3 one. So if you go back in some of my videos, the PS3 version, I've had the mic come out like this and... I sound so much better than the, the PlayStation 4 version headset that came out with the foldable earmuffs things. And uh, yeah, so honest review from an honest gamer, everyday Joe kind of guy. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.